Yo, yo, yiggity, yo. What's up, peoples? This is Tim. I'm actually here to just talk to you a little bit about this pretty sweet uh, video curator plugin that I just installed called .tube Curator. It's actually from over here on the new .tube domain that I have a couple sites on that I work on. And it's a it's a great site to go to for anything video type related. If you want to make a video based site, that's a great place to go. Here are just some examples of you know dot what you can do with the dot two, you know, because you know YouTube is huge, it's massive. So why not make a site about videos and use there? And here are some two sites that are examples of good examples of what you can do with the dot two domain. But anyways, the plugin that I got was actually down here. If you go to this web page, go to the very bottom, you can get the plugin through there. It'll take you to WordPress. But anyways, on to the actual thing itself. Here's the, the once you install it, it's a bit of a you have to do a bit of work to install it, but it gives you a good guide. But once you're done, you can uh, add a channel. I already added my channel right here. So if I click on the channel that I just added. It allows me to like pick and choose videos that I've already uploaded to add to my website. Even though there's a couple that I've already added, but you know here, this is all the videos that I already have on my channel. Every single one. Some of them aren't even screenwriting related because they're from you know before I tried to make this a screenwriting focused channel. That I don't know. Maybe I should just make a whole new one, but. I don't know if I want to do that. I have so many channels already. But here, if you can just click on it, one of these, say publish, and it'll become like a new, it'll become a new, a new post on your website. Now, the thing is, I don't know which ones of these I've already posted, so I don't really, I'm not sure if I want to post any, because I don't have to delete it or whatnot. But this is just an example of what it would look like. But another way to do it is to just go over here. And click add video via URL or URL. Sorry, I say URL. I just I don't know. I've been saying that forever. I don't know. I'll just pick this video for example purposes. Just a video of me reviewing a pair of headphones I got a few months ago. But it's a it's a pretty basic plugin. You can do Vimeo or you can add Twitch and Vimeo as well. I only have YouTube right now. I don't need to give video very much, but you hit find video, it'll just do a little loading to find the information and whatnot. I could have just done that through the uh, the channel section, but I just wanted to show you how you actually add a video, because, you know, it doesn't have to be from your channel, it could be from anywhere. But, you know, adding your own channel just makes it way easier later on to just add videos. Plus, once you set up your channel, any new video you add could automatically be synced if you choose to have that way. Like you can turn on an option to auto sync. So every new video you add to your channel automatically gets uploaded to your site, which just saves so much time. Because, you know, I want to add everything that I do under my site, not just articles, but videos too. This isn't the video that I'm really going to add, I really want to add because. I don't want to add this. I'm not really sure if I want to add this because it's not really screenwriting related. I mean, it's audio, and I listen to stuff while I write. But, but I if you kick plan, if you kick pen, pending instead of publish, like if you hit publish, it'll automatically publish. But if you hit pending, then you can edit. You can do some editing, right? So now you go to review and edit, and then the entire video that you just whatever. The whole video will now be, you know, into a set, put it, move into a post. And you can, you know, continue. You can just leave it the way it is, you know. But this is how it'll look, because yeah, this this is literally all the text that was just in the actual video. Like any text underneath the video, underneath the video description, whatever, gets put all right there. By default, like that happens automatically, and it, it doesn't give you well, the featured image should be it should be what the actual uh, 
images for the video. I don't know. I use this plugin a lot on a website that I work on. But this is the first time I've ever used it on my own website, and I guess it's kind of different. But if I just hit preview to see how it looks, I'm not sure how to look. This is literally the first time I've ever done this for my own website, so who knows? It could look like shit. But I just want to talk about what a cool plugin that is, and the actual .tube domain is a great place to get a video-based domain. Because, you know, even with having shit, a YouTube channel, why not have a website? To that channel so you know the more places you are on the internet the better for whatever you're trying to do brand yourself whatever yeah so this is how it looks i guess it doesn't really need a featured image i'm not sure why it's doing that because you know it's just comes like this anyways but that's how it looks it's literally just just the video that was already shot and all the text beneath it. You know, I'm not gonna really post this. I don't think, but I mean, this is just related stuff. See, so here are other videos that I posted the other way. Here are some videos that are already on my channel that I just posted, made of the post, the old school way. Oh my god, I'm getting. What is this crap? Shit. Sorry, I think I'm getting spam on my website. I don't know how to get rid of it yet. Someone tell me how to get rid of it. I need to know. But here's, you know, how I did it the old school way, which is literally posting the video in a post. And, you know, it looks exactly the same anyway, minus the text. But, uh, yeah, if you do it this way, you don't have to make a post, a new post. You just add a video, and then, boom, it's on there. I'm not really going to finish adding the video, because, whatever, I'm just doing it as an example. But, yeah, that's what you can do with this really cool tube curator. I see it has a dashboard, you can add more channels, you can search for videos. So you can you, you can go through this. You can actually use this plugin to find videos on YouTube through it instead of you know searching on YouTube and then going back into your website to add it. So yeah this is just my main website that I'm using for myself as a screenwriter. Yeah, so I don't know, whatever. I'll just type in screenwriting for fun. Because it's going to search YouTube for anything screenwriting. The exact same way you would search it in actual YouTube, but this way it does it through the actual website and you don't need to push back and forth. So, whatever, you know, this is just a bunch of stuff that comes up. Yeah, so, anyways, that's how that works. So, that's the end of the video. If you want to get this plugin, go over to get.tube.com and get go to the bottom and hit Video Curator Plugin. Yeah, I'll, I'll add a link to the video as well, I guess, so make it easier for you. Thanks for watching, and peace in the Middle East, Spain, and Spain. Don't vote for Trump, he's a douchebag. Bye!